Okay, so we start with the letter Alif, the first letter. You start from top and work your way down to the bottom. It's just a line. So that's, that's quite straightforward. Now the Alif is probably the hardest letter to learn because it's actually accompanied usually with Hamza. Now this Hamza is usually written in this way. And there's another type of Hamza as well, which is something like this. We'll talk about this later on, inshallah. So just for now, just think of the alif as just a line. When these get attached to it, this letter is then not termed alif. It's called a hamza. So this is a very powerful letter, which converts the alif to a hamza. And we'll talk about this later on, inshallah. Now, with the alif, how is it written in the beginning of a word, in the middle and the end? So in the beginning of a word, it's actually written as we wrote it there. So it's just, that's, that's how it's written. In the middle of a word, so for example, let's say there's a word before it, and it's coming across. To write the alif, all we do is just raise it up like this. If this is in the middle of the word, there'll be a letter coming after it. Now this letter coming after it won't join to the alif. So let's for example say it was a bat. It will just be written after it. And similarly, at the end of a word, it will just be like that. If you were to write three alifs, one after the other, and let's assume they're from the same word, we would write it in the following way. So notice, this alif does not join to this, because alif doesn't join to the letter after it. It can to the letter before it. So say there was a letter before it, it could join, but not after it. That's why we wrote the alifs separately. Okay, next letter. The ba. So the ba is written in the following way. You start from, not to the top, and then just go down, and up like that. Probably not, not that long, that's quite long, so probably just something like this. So once again, let's see how this letter is in the front of the word, in the middle and the end. So in the front of a word, it'll be written like that, and then there'll be a dot there. And it's not brought up to allow for the next letter. Now if it's in the middle of the word, so what we do is we just bring it up, and then do it like this and put the dot. And similarly, in the end, up and then it will be the complete because it's the last letter. Now if we were to write three of these in a row, assuming they're from the same word, how do we do it? Okay, that's quite straightforward. The next two letters, the ta and the tha, are very similar. The only difference is where the dots are put. So let's do this. Okay, the ta. So once again, it's written on top. There's two dots there. Now these two dots can be represented by the following. So if we do this again, we can do a line like this. Now this line, so I'll make it a bit longer, this line can represent these two dots. So just a shorthand way of, of writing it. So once again, in the beginning, we leave this for the next letter. In the middle, so there's a letter coming, and then put the tag there. And finally, ending. 
comes and then once again the three tabs is very easy it's just one after the other now get to the fat it has the three dots now we can actually let's just do this now we can represent these three dots by the following it's like an upside down V and that's just a shorthand way of doing that sometimes you might find writing that if, especially if an Arab writes you'll find that they use this shorthand way now let's get to the beginning of a word now it doesn't matter which uh, dot you put first um, you know there's no preference so that's the beginning then we have the middle so it's coming and then and finally the end and we'll, it's, it's similar it just finishes so it's um, you get the three dots there sorry that's not um, that good I'll just make it a bit better yeah and writing the three thas um, together as if they were one word is as follows sorry that I just did a it should be three dots there so that's quite straightforward okay we have the gene now so the gene is written in the following way you start just above the line and you go across and then come down and then put the dot there so once again across come down and put the dot there this can go a bit further than here that's fine but don't bring it over here so don't stop stop the line up to here bring it more so either uh, parallel to the same length as this or a bit further down that's fine now Jim in the beginning of the word is as follows we start here go down and then we come across and put a dot there and then the next letter comes after it so it joins to the next letter now when it comes to the middle of a letter so we have a letter coming before it then we have the gene and then across like that and there is the dot and coming at the end is a bit different so we have the letter what we do is we raise it up a bit and then write this form so we come across we start from here go across and then come down like that and then put the dot now if we want to write three genes in a row it's as follows first gene second gene and then third gene so and then we dot it another way of doing it and this is a shorthand way is what you do is go like this and like that and like that so that's three genes so and you just dot them now that's more advanced you'll find this form in the Quran script as a beginner this is probably the easiest way to do it the next two letters the ha and the kha are exactly the same as this the only difference is where the dot is so I'm gonna leave this on and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take off the dots and just put them in the place where they're supposed to be inshallah so here we have the letter ha the ha has no dot so everything that I told you about the jinn is the same the way it's written all the different forms the only difference will be the dot is not there so let's just remove the dot of each one So that's the hat. 
Next we have the Kha. It's the same way. But the difference is where the dot is. Let me just show you where the dot is supposed to be. So in its isolated form, it goes on top here. Similarly here, it goes on top. And similarly here, it goes on top as well. 